consolation game tonight already won by the Saints of Siena over the Kansas State Wildcats. And the star in that one was Doremus Betterman, who we've seen be a star all the way through. Five game totals of 174 points. He had 51 tonight. But now it's Vanderbilt getting set to take on the Wildcats of Villanova. As we take a look at our staple starting lineups, first for the Cats of Villanova, Kerry Kittles. As I mentioned, an all Big East performer as only a sophomore. He's their leading scorer coming in with Haynes, Lawson, Wilson, and Ebers. Steve Lapis, the head coach, and right now having time to smile. Six and one in the NIT. Of course, they're previously with Manhattan, two and one with that club, and now four and oh with Villanova, a team that was picked to finish 10th in the Big East, and here they are looking for their 20th win in an NIT championship to boot. The Commodores of Vanderbilt, led by Billy McCaffrey, playing his final collegiate game. You'll see a lot more basketball out of this young man before his time is done, but his college game will be done effective tonight. 21 points a game. Secker, McMahon, Lawson, and Dan Hall will join Billy McCaffrey, who, of course, won an NCAA title back with the 90-91 Duke Club. Now I'd like to get a NIT championship to boot. Jan Van Bredikoff in his first season, not doing bad for a first season head coach. Best ever winning percentage, in fact, in Vanderbilt history for a first year head man. 20 wins and 11 setbacks. And after some tough going early, he got his system, he got the kids to know him, and after right now they're playing the best basketball they played all year. Uh, the only thing he can not can do can do is control the backboard. They've got a little difficulty here. Uh, Jan struggled. Uh, he thought February's a great month for him. Think of this, though. Patrick Ewing and others attack that tin <laughs> with regularity, and nothing happens. The Vandy guys, maybe Chris Lawson, using a little strong-arm tactics, uh, dislodge the backboard. That's what the delay's for. But when you're new in a job, Kids have set ways with their old coach, right. and the mindset is difficult to dislodge and get you oriented into your philosophy, but excellent job in his first opportunity. There's another guy playing his final game, the big 6'10 senior, another transfer. Of course, Chris Lawson came from Indiana, while Billy McCaffrey came from Duke, and those two guys ready to cap off their NIT careers in this championship game. The road to the final looked like this. For Vanderbilt, a win over Oklahoma. And as Jan Van Bredekoff said, you know, when we went down there, nobody thought we'd get out of Norman, Oklahoma alive, much less get this far. They won by 10 there. Then they beat New Orleans. Then matched up with Clemson of the ACC and won that by 15. And the other night against Kansas State, again, as they did against Clemson, had a tremendous shooting half. 75% in the second half they shot against Kansas State to win 82-76. 41-year-old head coach. And on the other side is 40-year-old Steve Lapis, New York born and bred. And you know he's excited about playing in this building. He sure needed a lot of tickets. The Greek section <laughs> emptied out in New York City. His in-laws, his folks, and friends from his high school days. He's gone the gamut, though. The high school, the assistant, the high school coach, the assistant, the Roley. And there's his star performer, one of the great ones, Curry Kittles. And here's how they got here. Went over Canisius, big, 103.79. Then Duquesne, 82.66. They had to struggle with Xavier, 76-74 the final. And then against the Siena Saints, who had the crowd support with them the other night. But every time Siena got to within about two points, Villanova had an answer. And the final answer was 66-58. to So we're just about set to tip off the championship matchup. The V's, Villanova, and Vanderbilt coming up next. Thanks for seeing me during lunch, Mr. Ross. Hey, no problem. Hmm. I'll uh, make a couple copies and we can get started. Fresh, hot McDonald's fries. They're so tempting. What you want is what you get. Okay. So. At McDonald's today. Mr. Barnes, tell me about yourself. Yeah, I've been there. 
But now, my parents, they need real help. It's gonna be tight. We'll just have to manage somehow. I got this guy at Payne Weber. He put me in a mutual fund for my parents, the same time he set up my kid's college fund. That long ago? I didn't know about your parents back then. He asked. In the preseason? I don't get out much. But come spring, there's nothing more relaxing than a little walk in the park. All men are created equal. Some just work harder in the preseason. ESPN's exclusive coverage of college basketball is brought to you by Payne Weber. We believe our most important investment is an investment in relationships. And by Staples, the office superstore. National Invitation Tournament Championship, Madison Square Garden in New York City. We're just about set for the Vanderbilt Commodores 20 and 11, going over Wildcats 19 and 12. Villanova's motto coming into the year was starting from scratch. As I said, they were picked to finish near the bottom of their conference, and here they are against Billy McCaffrey and Vanderbilt. Tim Higgins, our referee, Bob Donato, and David Day, the other officials, were set to crown an NIT champ from the Garden, and we look at top. Tim Higgins with Wilson and Hall, and we're underway. And then he starts out, man, man, Brian. <laughs> Lawson, wheels on Lawson. We'll try to keep those guys straight for you tonight. Wilson in close. Got his own rebound. A little too strong the second time. Third try will go for Ebers. All the two big guys shaping up with ease. You got to take that away if you're Vandy, or it could be a tough night. Catch man to man, Brad. Lawson outside, and Wilson picks him up. Over Lawson. Jason Lawson, that is, on Dan Hall. Nice look and a cut on Billy McCaffrey. Couldn't quite get it off the glass, and Jason Lawson clears the board. Here comes Kittles. Leaves it for Haynes, had it stripped away. Might have been McMahon or Secker that got a piece of it. Nice defense. And the other end, uh, Billy McCaffrey used that curl with a taller Kittles. It's tough for Billy to elevate over and get the jump shot. Once again, easy in there. Wilson up high over Lawson. Got it. Ron Wilson only four points the other night, but he had nine rebounds. Here's McMahon in transition, scored a chance for a three-point play, and Ronnie picks up where he left off the other night. Youthfulness, huh? And uh, up and down early in the year, and it shows itself even with this great run of 13 of last 60 for Villanova. You don't get back, identify, get set, and a giveaway by the big fella. So here's a guy that will be back next year. 6'5", junior out of Athens, Tennessee. See what he did the other night, 27. And the first three of the night for Ronnie. Ronnie Shaysman goes up against Kittle. Two quick defenders. Kittle's kept his footing. Almost went up to the jump shot. Kept the ball to the feet on the floor. It would have been a traveling ball. Here's a steal by McCaffrey. Sacker will push it, and he pulls up for the jumper. Uh, he's tough, right? With 7-0 oh as the starter, and you can see why. Company is stroking. Bandy with his first lead, a minute and a half in. Now, Billy knows Ebers can shoot, hugging him. Kittle's always active. McMahon stays with him, though. Haynes drives, trying to leave it for Wilson. Back to back, Villanova turnovers. And a great play by Secker stepping in. McCaffrey. Somebody may have got just a piece of that three. And the Wildcats bring it back down. You saw Haynes with the penetration. You need more of that from him and Kittles. They are hunting the outside guys. Evers makes a move to the baseline, and Billy McCaffrey. Cuts him off, but uses the body to do it. First foul on McCaffrey. Now, in your neighborhood, they call that foul. A little ticky-tacky. little ticky-tacky. <laughs> there would be no whistle. Get up on him. <laughs> That's a tough match, and you know the shot. You can get it over, and you got to hug him. Uh, 
Evers over McCaffrey. Rattled out on him. And a push underneath is going to be on Chris Lawson trying to get position for the rebound. Maybe big Chris is first person. And he is important. They go to Woods on occasion to back up or play. And this guy's got to stay on the floor. He is their inside strength. Of course, the speed advantage inside will be to Jason Lawson, but the beef goes to Chris Lawson and the experience. Haynes, a little running jumper. And Jonathan with no beef there. Uh, they look like they man-to-man -man two people, Kittles and Haynes, and zoned up on the baseline on the inbound. A little trap. And the Hall. step. Plus court. Nice move by Hall. Deck the Hall. <laughs> Big Dan, and they said he had a little bit of a sore knee didn't show it there. So much for the trap on Dan Hall. He's an NIT veteran. He was part of that championship club in 90 for Vanderbilt. Has his first points tonight. Kittles got the dribble. McMahon got a piece of it, but cleaning up underneath is Jonathan Haynes. Haynes with four and Villanova back in front by one. Here's Hall with a hook shot. Great pass by Sector. Pick and oh, but that's a step in. That's an illegal pick on Jason Lawson. He's got two early, right? Not a good one there. He, he forgot to play and arrived late. We mentioned youthfulness. He got one foul by not getting back and in position. Now, watch how he arrives. They had to call him out to identify the play. Now, not good basketball early by Jason. And he's got to sit. And she gets some inside stuff. Steal by Kittles with Williams. They'll bring it two on one. And they miss it. But Kittles with a little bit underneath. It was titillating up there. He had to be careful. Nice play, not tipping him while it was on the rim. And over by three. Good look at the hoop yet. One missed three and one missed layup when he had to adjust the midair. And we've got a timeout. With 15.55 to go in the NIT championship game, it's Villanova leading Bandy by three. Staples, we guarantee no one anywhere can beat our prices on office supplies or equipment. Staples, 30 to 70% savings on the office supplies you need every day. Staples, where delivery is free on any telephone order over $50. Staples, call for a free catalog or visit the office superstore. Why go anywhere else? Is that Michael? Yeah, he starts college next year. That's mine. Well, Mike told me the price of his first choice. I know what you mean. I got this broker, Payne Weber. She put me in a zero coupon to cover college. Mm -hmm. huh. When did she do that? It's got to be 10, 11 years. 10 years ago? How did she know that's what you needed? Jack. Yeah. Just let me roll with you, baby, and roll you all over town. In my day, they didn't pay you much to bring in the crowds. Score the winning point or win a championship. You played because it was in your blood. Palm Beach Blazer of Champions. Some guys never lose it. Villanova leads 10-7, 15-55 remaining in the first half. Well, the Nagy comes out of me here. A uh, little trap on the area of the floor. We thought we had our telestrator popped up, but here's the trap. I said go cross court. That's how much I know. The ability to go baseline without the big fellas staying at home. And Lawson, as you noted, the beef. Tough to get around yep. him. You saw Wilson get hung up. Good, strong move. And Hall, who the other night only scored one point, has two already tonight. And he's one of the seniors, a fifth-year senior out of Gilbertsville, Kentucky. Vandy, though, trails by three. And Vanderbilt will bring out their starting five. 
while one of the starting five for Villanova, Jason Lawson, will have to sit with two personal fouls. And Kittle's quickly responding, as you know, that Billy not able to get a decent opportunity. Ronnie McMahon got Williams up. Now we'll drive on it and nice. leave it for Chris Lawson, who lost the handle. And Lawson knows, and so does Ronnie. And now they've got only three on the shot clock, so they're going to have to have Frank Secker get it inbounds in a hurry and toss one up there. McCaffrey way out near the three-point line. Comes in to Chris Lawson. I don't know if he knows about the clock. And good call, Brad. That's a one-bouncing shot in three seconds. You can do that. Or pass, catch, pass quickly on the jumper. That's what happens when you get it in five man's hands. Yep. Uh, they're not out there to think, although you'd love them to, not, but to horn. Not the greatest of communication, I think, on that one. Mm -hmm. Somebody should have let him know. Still 10-7, Vandy. Well, maybe, they, or Villanova, excuse me. maybe they should have you down there to lecture. <laughs> communication. Here's the guy we know that can get it going a little bit. Robin Williams. Kittle's tip, but Sacker's got his third rebound. Well, he gets him down the floor. McMahon, three, got it. Ronnie likes to guard the light. But Secker with the push. McMahon, the top three-point shooter for Vanderbilt. You might think it would be Billy McCaffrey. It's not. That's the 85th three of the year for Ronnie McMahon. He keeps moving up. Vanderbilt's career three-point list and has tied this thing up at 10. Evers, some bumping going on. A couple of bodies fly down. Vanderbilt comes out of the pile with a rebound in the person of Dan Hall. And Brad, they got a great look against the 2-3 zone. Hall got away inside, leaves it for McCaffrey. Baseline score. Unselfish play, too. Hall could have very easily got up strong. And Vandy, after being down by three, scores five in a row. They're up a pair. Now, this is an active little zone. Not your hands up and uh, count the calorie zone. Wilson on the line, didn't get it. And Hall clears it ahead to second. Vandy pushing the tempo a little bit. Look at Lawson hold off. He is strong and wide. Try to feed McMahon down low, and Haynes knocks it out of bounds. Brian Milburn will check in, and Dan Hall will go out. Well, all these kids, hardened veterans of the streets of New York, now much like yourself. That's right. For a few days in this town, everybody gets a little bit hardened, don't you think? Well, you need to ask for your coffee differently. <laughs> <laughs> and when it doesn't arrive, you let them know. That's right. You let the cabbie know he missed by a street today. <laughs> Just a block. <laughs> I didn't give him my usual quarter tip either. Kittle's Good. got back my hand up. Yes. A foul and almost got the basket to boot. Uh, the kids watch, don't they? And learn. Get them up. And get to the line. Make some contact. And a pretty good defender to boot. Made him pay for his speed, Brad. McMahon, we talked about what he did against Ski Jones the other night. A ski of Kansas State got 17, but when you consider he was a guy that had 62 in the previous game, Ronnie McMahon did a job on it. That time he fouls Kittles, though. And he's a tough one to stay with. I love the stock work, though. That's amazing. He just picked it up. Down in D.C., they go all the way up with... Two sleeves. The Moten's and those guys. Mm -hmm. Piddles with the, the, the one sock look. You mm -hmm. saw Kerry, the uh, first Villanova player since Harold Presley in 85 86 season to make first team all Big East. He doesn't make the first team all free throw shooting contest in this one. Mm -hmm. Just in both. And usually accurate at 71%. So Vandy maintains a two point cushion. 13 20 to go first half. McMahon with a look to Lawson. Chris too short with a shot. Milburn keeps it alive. Secker can shoot the three. Got him. And he had an option, too. They've been running down misses. He had McCaffrey in the corner or an optic to knock it down deep. Manny stretches it out by five. And it's a 8-0 run for the Commodores. Wilson. He gets that elevation. He's getting a good look, but it's not dropping. That one does, though. His hands for the third time, and I cleans up underneath. How'd he do that, huh, at that side? But he's got to kick it out, Wilson. He's got some options on the wing. Good movement by both teams. Here's Lawson. May have gotten away with a little push or a veteran move, whatever you want to call it. You can 
scoring. That's their little clear out box to box for the big guy. I mean, those shooters attract defenders. It should open it up for the big fella. Hebers puts him down on the baseline. Here's Haynes. His outside jumper won't go. Kittles in there by himself. It was three Commodores and Kittles. And Vandy comes out with a rebound. McMahon pulls up the three. Yes! The speed of the bounce. And that little sucker is the guy that's getting it down there and finding people. We talked about Ronnie McMahon and what a performance he had the other night. We had to fight with our producer, of course, as we always do, because we thought maybe he was player of the game instead of Billy McCaffrey. And tonight he's got eight already. Evers short. Oh, you're putting undue pressure on him, Bracey. <laughs> he deserves some undue pressure, don't you think? Zecker uh, weaves through Villanova traffic. Ronnie thought about another three, and Williams came out to pick him up. Now they run that motion, and individually they can break their legs. They clear out the back. Lawson, I thought he ran out of real estate. And that's easy for him. But he covers a lot of acres, I guess. <laughs> Ten-point Vanderbilt lead. What a run the Commodores have gone on. And with 11-16 remaining in the half, they're up by ten. Before introduction, a Moen faucet is tested at least a half million times against leaks and drips. So it's hard to find a more reliable faucet. No matter how you look at it. Moen. Buy it for looks. Buy it for life. This is the perfect time to try my new Polaroid Captiva. Hey, where's the picture? There's no picture. How can that be a Polaroid camera if there's no picture? The Polaroid Captiva. The pictures stay in till you take them out. Maybe if you shake it. Yeah, shake the camera. We give birth to the product. The customer give life to it. We need the dreams of the people. If people stop dreaming, we would be useless. You know, there was the time where some customer would pay with a piece of paper by OMS. Then another one said, I have the same, but it's called American Express. Why not? American Express can give life to a lot of dreams. We even know how to make them come true. What if there were no sports? If you couldn't join a team, what would you join? If you couldn't dream of touchdowns, what would you dream? What if you did something? What if you coached a team or put up a new rim? What if there were no sports? Would I still be your hero? Vandy on a big run. They're up by 10 with Jason Lawson on the bench. Chris Lawson taking over, Rath. Well, the ability to hold off and then find people, and they are not afraid to lob. But Jason Lawson, obviously, a guy who can block shots, but this club is a good passing team, and they find the big people. You can here see the loop. They empty everybody out with the motion and let him have an individual one-on-one -on -one in his shape-up. There's Jason Lawson. Nova led 8-7 when he left the game, and since that time, it's been Vanderbilt on the 15-4 run. He does influence some shots down there. A nice little note. 22-12. 11-05 to go first half. Brad Nessler, Bill Raftery with you from Madison Square Garden. And we are scrambling an NIT champion for 94. Will it be Villanova or Vanderbilt? Right now, Vandy in control. Evers outside. Rebound off the backside by Malik Evans. Good check out. Malik slips on the other end, trying to drive to the hoop. Haynes with nice defensive maneuvering there as he slid right in front of Malik, who's coming up hotly. Did you notice uh, Vandy having a little trouble or the love against their zone? Mm -hmm. And it's nice to have that as a safe position. Man to man, don't want to see us have a little skip in their game. Kittles are out of pick. Here's Williams, who started the other night, came up a little short over Chris Woods, who's an excellent shot blocker. And it's still going over ball. We were trying to get Chris Woods in trouble the other I was on that technical, which they attribute to the bench. And guess who it was? A little research. A little research? Buzz Peterson. Oh, Buzz. He's going to get a call from <laughs> Dean Smith, right? <laughs> Behave yourself on the sideline. McCaffrey and Lawson, the two wily veterans, get the rest. Villanova's only made two of their last 11 shots. 
after starting hot early. Well, here they go, zone on the inbounds. Wilson kicks it out to Evers for three. Short, way short. Roscoe Harris is going to check in for the Villanova lineup, and Evers will sit down. Villanova struggling from the field, and Vanderbilt continuing their amazing field goal run. The last two and a half games. Secker with a nice drive. Woods, rebound, and foul. May have given Harris, but was that an exhibition of some speed? Great move. Woo. Below by, got a little too much spin. A little Willie Moscone <laughs> on the release. Sort of <laughs> knocked it out. As Frank shows you, as on the clear, the motion gives them opportunity. And right here, you see the little spin, and the glass catches yep. it and accentuates it. And down underneath, I think. Willie would have laid that off the cushion a little easier. He would have called it, I guess, huh? <laughs> right pocket. This Woods looking for the pocket. Only he scores about a point and a half a game. The way you dress, you didn't have many pool halls in your neighborhood. Oh, yes, that. we did. <laughs> Jason Lawson checks back in. Let's see how Jason Lawson does now with foul trouble at hand. Chris Woods, Chris them both. Uh, we talk about a learning experience. He's got to make sure he doesn't foul. A gamble. You don't want to let the game get too far out of hand, but he has to be knowledgeable. There is is a brick of a three as well. McMahon will bring it down for Vanderbilt. I got hit right now. I like early toss myself. I mean, early toss. Having had a few of those <laughs> in my heyday. Ball loose. <laughs> Villanova ball. Billy McCaffrey will check back in. Frank Secker will go out. It's Billy McCaffrey. It's two points so far. Nice when he can spot guys and keep that 10-point lead as well. Fun watching him during his career, Brad. Outstanding performer, both at Duke and Vandy. I know what you before the game. He said, Billy, I want to tell you how much I've enjoyed doing games you've been part of. He's been fun to watch. Outside. Lost a lucky rebound. Ronnie McMahon had off the dribble. A little bit short. Woods trying to tip underneath and it'll be Wildcats ball with nine to go first half they're strapping on the glass I thought maybe you were giving Billy some advice I saw that I gave him a little <laughs> shooting advice but not much <laughs> Eber is back in for Villanova uh, I thought maybe you were teaching him how to get three he hasn't been able to somebody should down. teach Villanova about that three-point line tonight that's struggling with it 0 for 7 and, and did you notice they haven't been looking for the shot the last time Harris had and then another one you got to shoot it if you're a knockdown guy Kittles doubled on the baseline, kicks it out. Harris does get a good look. He nails it. Now they're not over. One for eight now with that one. Got a him. Look at this neglect of duty. Chris Lawson underneath. Jason Lawson couldn't do much about it once Chris got that position. He didn't want a third foul. So Vandy, after the three-pointer, has a two-point answer. They lead by nine. Kittles. Haynes, another rebound in the traffic. Here's Harris for three one more time. Uh, Hayes gets about three and a half a game, and that was a big one for the Cats. So Roscoe Harris, back-to-back -back trees. Eight minutes to go and a half. McMahon, he may have been hit a little bit after the release. The rebound comes off to Evers, and now Villanova trying to make a run. They got some shooters on the wing right now. They get Harris clear. He's going to let one fly again. Whistle foul underneath. Will be on Chris Lawson. And if it is, we'll have to keep our eye on the Lawson and Lawson firm underneath. It is going to be on the man they call Bone. Chris picks up his second. And we pick up a timeout with 7 minutes and 40 seconds left. First half of the NIT championship in Vanderbilt leads Villanova by six. In case you've forgotten how big America's drug problem is, here's
is a little reminder. The biggest selection of name brand televisions, appliances, and more is at Sun TV for less. Start your adventures in multimedia technology with this 486 SLC system from SKV. Featuring 210 megabyte hard drive, 4 mega of RAM, double speed CD-ROM drive, powered speakers, and bonus software. All for only $9.97. The brand names you know and trust at the lowest certified prices every day. Only from Sun TV, where you know you pay less. I've seen sculptures. I've read books. I've seen plays. I've read books about plays and seen plays about books. I've looked at mountains, sunsets, oceans. I've looked at the big blue sky on a very clear day. And none of it is as beautiful as this. It's 6-24-18 with 7.40 to go first half. Here's the firm of Lawson and Lawson and what they do respectively for their clubs. One a freshman, one a senior. In the vernacular of New York City, this is what you call a big firm. <laughs> <laughs> Bang it. And this was a gamble, I thought, by Jason Lawson, who's got the two, can't afford another. But that bulk will put some wear and tear on your body. A little bump, a little bang. A little bit like the Rangers. Elbows flying a little Ooh. bit. Both those guys have two fouls so far, and we have 7.40 left in the half. Both would love to go to the locker room still with two fouls. Here's Jason on the inbound play. A little short, can't haul the rebound. He's got to learn to shoot it. He did that the other night. I pushed it. Yeah, he just, just a caught on the heel. And here they are, isolated. Chris on Jason on one side. McCaffrey got three momentarily in the paint. Leaves it for Chris Lawson. Oh, tip in. I think Ronnie's man. active, isn't he? He's got 11. You know what he does well when they got that double screen for him? He sets his guy up. He doesn't leave early. Times it so he receives the pass, just like that little tip. Good timing. Good move. Nice little post pass and move. Very effective against the zone that trip. First points of the night for Jason Lawson. McCaffrey around a pick, got tangled up with Haynes. Goes down hard. Vanderbilt turnover and the Wildcats push it. Roscoe Harris. Oh, foul by Lawson. Wait a minute. So much for pushing his shot. If you throw him down, nothing can happen. Uh, that was Billy with an open look and a hands down. He's amazing, isn't he? Billy McCaffrey with a three-point answer. Vanderbilt by seven. Well, that's probably what happens with uh, Jason. He's forced to knock him down like that. Doesn't have to stroke him. Kittle's baseline. Good move, just didn't finish it. Secker gets another rebound. Frank's been speeding around, picking up those garbage boards. McCaffrey again. That one comes off. Paul keeps it alive. And now Secker will try a trade. Got him. Great play by Dan Hall. Unselfish and in around the horn. They have confidence in that deep stroke. Right back to a 10-point lead. 32-22, and we're approaching five and a half minutes. a lot of hurts, but with the big guys in there, and they're teeing off on one another. Harris sat down deep on his three. McCaffrey has an easy rebound. And Billy gets it over to Secker. Trying to get it to McMahon, and uh, the pass going one way, the body going the other. Matterville turnover. Kerry Kittle so far just two points tonight after his 21-point performance the other night and the win over Siena. So he's going to have to get his offense in gear to help the Wildcats cause. I'm impressed with Vandy getting the ball down the floor. I mean, they're pushing going over back and ample opportunities on the offensive end. Yep, this is not a half-court team, though it can be. Vanderbilt shown some speed on the break. Haynes 
gets it inside. Chris Lawson this time Dan Hall on him, and he'll get the call and the push from behind to pick up his first foul of the night. Triple Shot Sunday coming up this weekend. In Who's Best Interest, a coach's roundtable discussion at 2.30. Then at 3 o'clock, RCA College Basketball Player of the Year Award. Robinson, Marshall, Kidd, Rozier, Hill, who will it be? Then the slam dunk and three-point shooting contest at 3.30. That's our Triple Shot Sunday on ESPN. A trap under the zone inbound. That's a tough pass to leave it out there for Williams on a double feed. He somehow picked up the loose ball and ends up... Great effort. Losing it anyway. And now we got what looked like a Rangers game there for a second. <laughs> no, no punches. No penalty box area tonight, so uh, possession error will go in Vanderbilt's direction. Great to see the scrappiness. And Williams trying to shrug it off, but he got a little out of sorts as he got close to the tent. Here's a look at the battle. Who wants it? Everybody wants it. Dan, who's no relation to Robert, down after that. I don't think Robert to get on the deck, huh? Uh-uh. Unless it was an old suit. <laughs> Villanova trying to take away the vision of the passer out high. They know they give it to the open guy. Good passing team. They haven't had to worry about the shot clock much tonight, although it is under 10 for Vanderbilt. Secker pulls up off the draw. How tough is that? 10 for Frank Secker. And the biggest lead of the night, 34-22. Pretty quick feet, huh? He pulled up. Secker, just a sophomore, remember. So with he and McMahon back, that's still a pretty solid mm -hmm. backcourt for Vandy next year. Here's Kittles for three. Nowhere near the hoop. Ebers, I believe, Brad. It'll reach over. Villanova having trouble with their shooting from the outside. And it has helped the Commodores to a 12-point cushion. For the first time, there's a saw that combines a 12-amp motor, dust collection, and an auto brake. So there's no limit to what you can build. Introducing the Quantum Circular Saw, new from Black & Decker. The Gulf of Mexico, where world-class fishermen like Jim come to battle the big boy. Jim, you got one. <laughs> yeah, hey, this calls for a celebration. How about a cold duel? Thanks. Ah, only 70 calories and not alcohol because out here, you never know what to bite. When you want refreshing beer taste in a non-alcohol brew, think O'Doul's. It's what beer drinkers drink when they're not drinking beer. I want to tell you about my home far away. My mother and father are there. Strengthening the links of communications requires capital. In the last three years, Merrill Lynch raised over $50 billion for communications companies around the globe. We connect investors to opportunities and the people of the world to each other. For them, it makes a difference. The difference is Merrill Lynch. Polaroid asked me, Sinbad needs supermodels to demonstrate the sleek, stylish Captiva camera. It holds the pictures inside the camera's special pocket so you take them out and put them in a, your pocket. <laughs> My pocket. <laughs> the Polaroid Captiva. Ed McCaffrey, the New York football giants at the ball game tonight to watch little brother Billy in his final performance as a collegiate player. And Vandy with a 34-22 lead. 3.36 left in the half. And Billy, five points so far tonight. Football does have its pluses. <laughs> if that's his companion at the game, <laughs> we should add. It's a little trap. <laughs> Let's get back to what's important. You're the one that started. <laughs> Good cross-court action, and they've got Villanova on a string with their quick touch back screens. Hall with Ebers on him. Has to push it back out to second. With five on the shot clock, three-pointer. Here's the outlet. Haynes and McMahon go one and one. And foul as McMahon got it ahead to Kittles. McMahon's pretty smart. When he cut that angle, that was a tough pass. Jonathan Haynes had to deliver because of a shrewd defensive maneuver. Pretty solid club. And Villanova's struggling. Well, they shoot 44% for the year and not knocking them down at much regularity. 
And they shot 40 the other night in their win, but uh, they're going to have to up that considerably from what they've done here so far. Evers, that'll help it. On two. The two-pointer. But a good sign, nonetheless, for the Wildcats. We cut it back to 10. No longer trailing on all the cuts. That's a good shot. McCaffrey too strong with his jumper. So Lawson with a tough rebound and a strong block on that defensive end. And on the other end, Williams should have had it, missed it, fought for it, and goes out of bounds. Got to finish opportunities. Nice pass, and Alvin knows best. A little harsh. Look at this. Got to slow that last step up. A nice, soft caress. 2.20 remaining first half. And Billy McCaffrey, he gets more looks like that. They're going to be tough to catch. He usually converts those. Great look underneath Dan Hall and Chris Lawson. How about the little bump that freed Lawson? I mean, nobody communicating to back and villain over there. You've got to switch to the three man. Evers cross courts to Haynes. Williams has not been an offensive story tonight. The other freshman we talked about. Evers three comes out. Secker battles with Chad Sharon, his own player, for the rebound. And Lawson ought to just go out of bounds. He better not get the third. Chris Lawson on the other end. The big fella's got 10. They got it going their way, Brad. The offense is percolating. That time a little pushed up in the three-second lane. Percolated to a 14-point lead. And right now for Villanova, their offense is slow drift. <laughs> Battle in front of the bench. Bandy ball. Nice hustle by Sharon. That's what you've been calling me all year. <laughs> Uh, Vandy's D, the switching, the zone's giving them some problems. So with a 14-point lead and less than a minute to go in the first half, Vanderbilt has controlled this game. This is sort of a hammer goal right here. If you can get a real good one and play some good D, you can turn the screws a little. Will Lowe has to step up. Look at that ball movement. Ronnie McMahon, three. Picking it apart, aren't they? Inside, bang out. <laughs> Just like that, it's 17, the difference. Well, one of the great offensive teachers of basketball was Butch Von Bredekwap. Right there, a good big goal for going on. They were on the ropes. And his son, Jan, has been running great stuff. Action and counters and getting free, particularly when it hits the post and dumps. It's wide. I think this is maybe the fifth Vanderbilt game I've done this year. This is as sharp as I've seen it look. They've had some excellent halves, though, in the last two outings, both Clemson and the other night over Kansas State, where they shot better than 70%. Not quite that warm this half, but boy, they've been effective. Secker at the buzzer. That one doesn't go, but just about every other one that's counted has. And at halftime, Jan Van Bredekoff in his first year as head coach at Vanderbilt's got his team steaming ahead to a 15-point lead. NIT championship from the Garden. The Commodores lead the Wildcats 41-26. ESPN's exclusive coverage of college basketball is brought to you by Reebok Instapump Technology. It's new, it's hot, it's radical. Grip it, feel it. And by Goodyear, number one in tires. With the right Goodyear tire. No matter what you drive. Goodyear trained, ASC certified. You want it right? You bring it here. Right now. 
tires, tune-ups, brakes, you name it. Get the right job at the right price when you go with Goodyear Certified Auto Service. So get it right. Right way, right here, right now. With Goodyear Certified Auto Service. The hunt begins now. If you make it to civilization, you live. We're not really going to hunt him, are we? Ah! It's nothing. He's less than nothing. I won't take any part in this. Jack Mason knows he's going to die someday. I like my meat rare. But today, he's not in the mood. Try well done. Ice Team. Rutger Hauer. Surviving the game. Rated R. Starts Friday, April 15th at a theater near you. The 57th National Invitation Tournament Championship game from Madison Square Garden. And at halftime of Vanderbilt and Villanova here in the title round. Earlier tonight, the consolation game. It was the Saints of Siena against the Wildcats of Kansas State. Quite a show put on by Doremus Betterman. 51 points tonight as the senior rounded out his career with a 92-79 win for Siena. And also, a tournament record through five games, Doremus, with that 51-point performance, shatters a previous mark at 174 a game for him. Over that five-game stretch for Doremus Betterman, the little guy who was sensational, a 35-point per game average. Well, we get set now for the final half of the final two here at the National Invitation Tournament. But, of course, the final four readies down in North Carolina. And for a preview on the final four, let's go down to Charlotte and Chris Fowler. All right, thank you, Brad, and welcome to the city of almost a million people bracing for the biggest event in its history. Behind me here, the Fan Jam Hoops theme park is cranked up. The teams will arrive by charter plane tomorrow afternoon, except in the case of Duke, they will bus over and get a highway patrol escort when they hit the Mecklenburg County line. This continues to be the toughest ticket in Final Four history, one of the toughest in sports. Good tickets like these going for $4,500 a piece, according to the ticket brokers we talked to today. They're paying about $3,000 a piece for them. Carolina state law says you can't sell a ticket for more than $3 over the face price, so they're either going to be a lot of arrests or they're just going to look the other way. This would be even a tougher ticket if the president decides to show up. The latest word from Washington, he will show up Monday and not Saturday. The Secret Service already preparing for that. You can interpret that to mean the White House is confident that Arkansas will beat Arizona in the semis. This will be the first time a president has attended the Final Four. It would create some concerns, but officials say they would be ready. We did think there was this possibility over the last uh, three and a half weeks. And in fact, last weekend I was in Dallas to really sort of ob observe how Dallas worked with the Secret Service and to see how they interacted with the security people to make sure that it was certainly appropriate that the president be there, but that it did not in any way diminish the impact of what the real purpose is, and that's college basketball. We're going to bring in our former White House employee now, former assistant to the drug czar, Digger Phelps. Preparation for the teams on the four campuses today. What was going on? This is the last day you really get the intensity of what you've got to do for Saturday's game plan. When you look at Arkansas, full scrimmage, 40 minutes, go at it, which Nolan Richardson loves to do. Duke, on the other hand, is doing clock situations. Up five, two minutes ago, down five, two minutes ago. Start the second half, where we really get our defensive intensity picking up. And this is where I think all four teams know today is your last day, because once you get here tomorrow, the circus starts. Yeah, this is a circus, and many teams have trouble coping with that once they get well, to the Final Four. if you haven't been in the Final Four, and this is your first experience, it really is. You're in awe of it. I'm here. Friday's practice at the Coliseum. You only get an hour, but there's going to be 23,000 people watching you, and you miss a layup, they're going, ooh. You slam one, they go, ah. So this is all part of what it's like to get your team focused to win. All right, our coverage will continue right through the championship game post-game. That's it from Charlotte. Send you back down to New York and Brad. All right, Chris and Digger, thanks, guys. They think they've got a circus down here. We've actually got the circus here at Madison Square Garden. You can still smell the elephant. The aroma. That's right. Halftime here at Madison Square Garden. Vanderbilt in, in the lead. Uh, you know, talk about all the coaching moves that have happened this week. I still don't know what's going on in Dallas other than Barry Switzer now from being five years out of the game in as head coach of the Cowboys. But in the collegiate ranks this week in college basketball, a lot of moves and another one today with Pete Gillen. I haven't heard Digger's name mentioned yet, but I, <laughs> I, might, I might throw it out. Yeah, Pete surprised a lot of people when you think of it. He's been a, a commodity that a lot of schools have had a lot of interest in. You think back to Virginia, right. Villanova, Notre another one, ND, and always turning jobs or not lacking the interest. This one, at least hearsay, uh, some family ties up there in New England is 
wife's family have some people and it was one and I also think the conference too maybe the unsettledness right. now they're moving into the Atlantic tenant Xavier and maybe he felt it was time to make the move maybe come back east he's glib much like yourself uh, great appearance and uh, you know uh, something that you'll like they go up and down they go I like that <laughs> you I like do that. a lot of Big East so uh, you'll enjoy flex with a couple of coaches now the Big East that way so here at halftime of the Big East and Vanderbilt uh, squaring off and so far the SEC is winning the battle behind Billy McCaffrey and company and his big brother Ed will be along with Raft when we come back. Cold filtered Miller Genuine Draft. The cold one. For those who've discovered its smooth draft taste, the world is a very cool place. So get out of the oil and get into the cold. Butters. It's like rain. Always there. Just a reminder. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. If you're talking basketball, Foot Locker knows exactly where you're coming from. Wherever that is, Foot Locker. Official corporate partner for the NCAA championships. Grab your sunscreen and get ready for a scorching spring because Honda's Red Hot Deal Days are back at your local Honda dealer and they're hotter than ever with great deals on Red Hot new Hondas along with demo rides, zero down financing on many models, free service inspections and appraisals, helmet trade-ins, free Honda hats and a whole lot more. You better get moving. Honda's Red Hot Deal Days end April 30th. Don't let it pass you by. Where's the picture? There's no picture? How can it be a Polaroid camera if there's no picture? The Polaroid Captiva. The pictures stay in till you take them out. Maybe if you shake it. Yeah, shake the camera. Oh. <coughs> NBA Showdown 94 for Sega Genesis Shoot and it. Super NES. If it's in the game, EA Sports. It's in the game. Mm. Halftime at Madison Square Garden, NIT championship game. The Commodores of Vanderbilt leading the Villanova Wildcats 41 to 26. We've talked about Billy McCaffrey in his final game, and his big brother is here to watch him, and he's out on the court with Raft right now. Bill? Thank you very much, Brad. Uh, of course, you taught Billy everything he knows about basketball, I'm told. Oh, of course, everything he knows, but not everything I know. <laughs> Now, the other night, uh, I'm sure you're having a great time, you and your folks watching him play. It, it, it's, it's so impressive how he, one, gets free and knocks down shots. Did you feel he would become this accomplished? Well, first of all, it is a big throw. I have the whole family here, my friends, my wife, Lisa, and it, it's just a, it's great to be able to come here. I'm so glad he's playing in New York in the Garden, so it's, it's right next door. Uh, I've seen him develop as a young kid, and he's only gotten better and better every year. In high school, he played in the All-Star Games against the Shaquille O'Neal's and against the Hurleys and Kenny Andersons, and he went to college, went to Duke, come here to Vanderbilt, and I think he's as good now as he's ever been. He can shoot the ball, he can get open, and he's, re he's really worked on his passing, his ball handling. Uh, I think he's a great player. I, I like to compare him to some of the other guys I've seen him play against, the Hurleys and the Andersons, and, and uh, I think it's been a real happy year for him. I think the key to, would be to, to win tonight, and uh, hopefully he'll go on to bigger and better things. Any second thoughts about your career? You were a great basketball player. Montgomery didn't give you a chance at Stanford. Maybe you'd be playing here. No, Coach Montgomery is a great guy, and of course, he said that I could have went out for the team. Uh, the great guys on the Stanford basketball team. Uh, but, you know, I was focused towards football, wanted to play in the NFL. And uh, fortunately, I've, I've made it for three years now, going into my fourth season with the Giants, and hopefully uh, many more. Now, Billy made a great pass the other night. We thought he much looked a lot better than Sims uh, with that down and out he threw. No, I, I can't go that far, but I did talk to Phil, and Phil complimented him on the throw. And, uh, you know, I've seen many passes like that from Phil during my career. Of course, the news today in Dallas, you know, they lose their offensive coordinator and Jimmy Johnson now some changes. Does that help the Giants, or are you surprised at everything? Well, there's some chaos in Dallas. Uh, I can't say that I mind. Uh, hopefully it'll hurt the, the Cowboys. I mean, they're a fine organization with, I mean, incredible talent. Uh, but any trouble they can have can only help us. Uh, hopefully they'll 
they'll, they'll figure out their troubles and solve their problems after we play them. Tell Simpson to call your number more. Enjoy watching you catch the football. Thank you very much Thank for coming you. by, Eddie. Okay, Brad, another football star on the sideline. Yeah, what a family, huh? A sister Monica played basketball at Georgetown. There's a younger brother and sister. Ed and Betty's kids. Halftime at Vanderbilt with the Commodores in front. Open the door. Check under the hood. Because now is the time to get to your Toyota dealer and get to quality. Toyota's March sales event is on. And it features Corolla with big factory dealer incentives, option package savings, and a $179 lease plan that can make Corolla more affordable than ever. Corolla, Toyota's benchmark of quality for 25 years. Now with a great selection and great deals. But hurry, this special sales event ends April 5th. I've has made the move to Indian Park. Now we're making the move on Sports Channel. Hi, I'm Rick Manning. And I'm John Sanders. Lead off the season right by tuning into Sports Channel for 60 live exclusive Tribe games. Call the number on your screen and catch the Tribe in this historic first season at Indian Park through Erie Cablevision Channel 39. Sports Channel and the Tribe. There's no stopping us now. Halftime NIT championship game. Vanderbilt Commodores leading the Wildcats of Villanova. 41 to 26 is our halftime score. Brad Nussler, Bill Raftery along with you from Madison Square Garden. We've got 20 minutes left to crown an NIT champion. Right now it looks like Vandy Raft, they're playing as well as I think I've seen them play all year. And when you can get the outside shooting that they've gotten and the ball distribution, the positions that they've ended up, cross-court passes, knocking down threes. This time, Secker with the great hustle. They've run down missed rebounds, the extra pass when necessary. And this Tiger, with his foot speed and ability to knock down shots, has been a great plus for Vandy. And Lawson did not get the entire half because of early fouls. But here's one where they don't complete the initial thrust. But Jason, the law, son of that club, a factor. Here's a halftime stats. Vanderbilt again having an exceptional half shooting the ball, 52%. It may not be the 70 plus they had against Clemson and Kansas State, but they'll take it. And they're six out of ten from out there in three-point land. McMahon with three, McCaffrey one, and you saw one of the two that Secker had. The rebounding edge goes to Vanderbilt, and the points off turn uh, turnovers also in the Commodores' favor. So Vanderbilt has pretty much had the first half the way they wanted it, and at intermission they've got the score the way they want it. It's Vanderbilt 41, Villanova 26. We'll see if the Wildcats can make a second half run when we come back. When traffic congestion increases, unburned fuel and acids threaten to shorten the life of your car's engine. That's why today's Quaker State has engineered intelligent oil. Oil that senses the changing threats in your engine and adapts its own molecular structure for continuous protection. So whenever the driving conditions change, so does Quaker State. The intelligent oil for longer engine life.
ESPN's exclusive coverage of college basketball is brought to you by Polaroid Captiva. The pictures stay in until you take them out. And by Merrill Lynch. For clients around the world, we make a difference. The difference is Merrill Lynch. The Villanova faithful hoping they have something to cheer about in the second half of the National Invitation Tournament Championship. Monday we had four, now we're down to two, and we're also down to the final 20 minutes. Mandy leads Villanova 41-26, as we're just about set to start the second half. The basketball season will end for these two clubs tonight. Again, if you missed it earlier in the consolation game, Siena beat Kansas State 92-79. And Vandy, as they did in 90, trying to become NIT champions. Billy McCaffrey in his final performance as a Commodore. And so far, five points on a one-for-three shooting night outside the arc. And Kittles, Terry Kittles, the star for Villanova, didn't get many looks at all and has just two points. We expect to see more out of both of those guys here in the last 20 minutes. And Terry Kittles right in front of us. We'll take it from Tim Higgins, and we're underway second half. Villanova very late coming out of the locker room. I think they have talking to Coach Lapis. <laughs> An undressing. <laughs> or a reassessing. Nice cut. And they finally get a little penetration via the pass. The best looking plays they've had all night comes in the first 20 seconds of the second half. Big thing for Villanova is to stop, stop the second. Billy McCaffrey over Evers. Evers may have gotten a piece of it. Chris Lawson trying to use his head on the rebound. <laughs> but the coach told him. Kittles leaves it for Jason Lawson. Villanova off to a good start second half. Pretty good poise by the big guy, too. They've had it blocked if he went up initially. McCaffrey. Ball comes out to McMahon. Fresh 35 for Vanderbilt. They won't use it. They take the shot right away, and the rebound comes off to Haynes. A little charge in the Villanova legs right now. Jonathan will try a three of his own. Evers maybe with a little decoration on Dan Paul. No, they gave it to Lawson. That's great. They would have loved to have had it on Evers. So Jason Lawson with a push. Three fouls. First one comes in a minute and 12 seconds in to the second half. We yes. had that long stretch being on the bench in the first half, and he may have to see more of that bench time here in the second half. A lap just picked up that ball. Maybe that's why Evers looks so guilty, huh? Trying to suck it up for the alma mater. Now, poise has to take place for Vandy now. Run their motion and get their sets again. They scream beautifully the first half. Don't just rush into the jumper. Trying to step it up. You want to make him pay for it. Back the hand. On top. Trying to feed Chris Lawson. And he gets it back out. Secker for three. And a foul. Oh, and it's on Jason Lawson on a three-point attempt by Secker. What are you doing out there? It's nice to try to play defense, but you don't want to do that. That's four, and he will now sit for sure. What does that take the starch out of your club? Now, Wilson has to step up, and they got Perkin when he went out in the first half, you recall. They went inside, and here's that inexperience yep. showing itself. When you step forward, you step back. Part of growing as a talent. And on a three-point attempt, and you put it in the hands of an excellent free-throw shooter who gets to shoot three. There'll be a lot more bright moments in the next three years for Jason Lawson, but right now he's having a downer on the bench. Well, you also have to learn how to count. He did a nice job when he had the two and went back in, but I think he may have forgotten his dilemma. Well, he just was overzealous and left. Not real happy with his gamble. Frank Secker makes two or three from the line. And you expect guys to understand. After that nice strong start by Villanova, it's Vanderbilt by 13. And the, and the zone, which was a favorite. Evers three. Mm, gives him an open look, though. If he gets warm, that'll help the cause. Makes it a 10-point game. 
Haynes almost came up with a steal. Nice job defensively by Jonathan Haynes. Well, that's his game. He's got he comes up with two a game on his own. Well, Wilson with the hold here. When you're on the high side and you're giving up the baseline, you've got to run and take over on the pass, the baseline. And kids would rather give the foul than make the effort. Dan Hall sits. Brian Milbert in for Mandy. McMahon trying to feed the low post and kicked out of bounds by Alvin Williams. And it wasn't a case of going to Chris Lawson to get him in foul trouble. He did it on his own. Right. Especially out there with a three-point mm -hmm. shot. Wasn't it a discard on the other end? Uh-huh. McCaffrey give it go with Chris Lawson. Nice. nice stop by the big fella, and he put it in. Good balance, and then the effects of the kids. <laughs> He's got a dozen. A little bit of a match, trying to identify. Credit Bandy's defense for cutting off Kerry Kittles tonight. He has been non-existent in the Villanova offense. And he keeps going out further. They got it to Hayes, who was headed the dilemma at his size amongst the big people. Kerry may have to do it now. With a six on the shot clock, he gets the cross-court pass, puts the three up. And the rebound knocked out by Vandy. Too many guys on the ball. You don't mind that problem, I guess, but Milburn and Lawson both had a piece. They knock it out. I think the Columbus will know that they've got to get it into the three second area and then out. You're not going to get against the zone a real easy cross court. Pretty. Ebert. Well, they did it with the dribble. Back to 10, 45 35. Jonathan Haynes trying to rag Secker. Lawson. Well, that one stuck back at it. Nice defense by Ebers. Oh, they need a little life, and they're trying to spark themselves a little bit. Not too bad on the penetration. That's the area I think you're going to have to pop a guy in a flash, too. Why not take the dribble if he doesn't come? Here's Chris Lawson. He's blocked by Wilson, picked up by McMahon. Out to Villanova. Williams. Wilson from 15. Got it. Mm, a crawler, but it is. A crawler, I like that. 45-37. <laughs> Villanova in the hunt. We're four minutes into the second half. NIT title game. McMahon. Off the glass. Foul by Alvin Williams in route. Does that show his flexibility, though? Max Mahan noted for three, able on the hug to turn the corner a little bit. And Villanova switching, you may see McCaffrey get a good look. Haynes had ended up on him. He may be able to elevate and take that jumper. We talk about elevation for Ronnie McMahan, former high school high jump champ. So it's no joke when he goes in there and you see his hand way up in the box on those layups. He can get up. It's either above the box or in the <laughs> announce box. That's right. <laughs> he spends a little time over here. He does. And there's his numbers. Another excellent night. 15 and 2. 27, 2 and 4 were his numbers the other night as we look from up above at his second free throw. 16 points for Ronnie McMahon. And with just under 16 left, it's Vanderbilt by 10. And Villanova trying to make a run. Polaroid asked me, Sinbad needs supermodels to demonstrate the sleek, stylish Captiva camera. It holds the pictures inside the camera's special pocket till you take them out and put them in a, your pocket. <laughs> My pocket. <laughs> the Polaroid Captiva. <laughs> it's been our observation that people don't necessarily like the idea of getting older. It's a gust be gone. <laughs> Roy just loves his. In which case, we have a suggestion. Ta-da! Now make a wish. Wish, wish, wish. A 
175 horsepower fountain of youth. The 94 Isuzu Rodeo. Practically amazing. For the first time, there's a saw that combines a 12 amp motor, dust collection, and an auto brake. So there's no limit to what you can build. Introducing the Quantum Circular Saw, new from Black & Decker. You followed him from the first day he signed with the team. You know he's not perfect, but on certain days in his life, he has been. The night he poured in 63 points, the time he crushed three home runs in the World Series, the day he found Dwight Clark in the end zone. And you wish at some point, at some moment in your life, you could be that perfect too. And that's why you cheer for him. That's why you believe in heroes. Four years ago in the NIT championship, Eddie Fogler at the controls for the Commodores. Kevin Anglin now an assistant coach with the outside jumper. And then another one coming up from Scott Droud. And the Commodores, NIT champs indeed. With a two-point win over St. Louis, 74 to 72. And Kevin Anglin, one of the stars for Vanderbilt in that game, now sitting over next to Jan Van Bradekoff and Buzz Peterson. There's Kevin, Vanderbilt assistant coach. And, and there's Buzz Peterson, former North Carolina star. Mm -hmm. Dan Hall was part of that team, Raft. He was part of the 1990 title club, a freshman then. I was here. Darker hair. You had darker hair. Uh, I saw those, uh, particularly Anglin and Buzz working out. I said, how do you like Coach? He said, it's a different perspective. It sure is. <laughs> and he tried to win track kittles, as you mentioned, unable to get too many opportunities. Haynes keeps it alive, though. Lean over. Five out of seven, now six out of eight this half. And Wilson is fired up. That's what they need is a spark. And coming from the big guy who's in there for Jason Lawson, that might be just what the Wildcats need. Okay, he lost the ball. Kittles fouled. He won't go, but he will go to the line for a couple. Suck Secker back there trying to stay with him. Now, this is the same guy. I don't know how they didn't strip the basketball. You have not seen too many open floor opportunities for the Cats. The push. Goes over to the free throw line. That has been a rarity for them in this game. 0 for 2 tonight, and those were Kerry Kittles. Two misses. Doesn't miss that one. You can hear him rip it. He must have had some scathing remarks there. Probably sounded like you with your wife as you come back from shopping. <laughs> You'd be going back to Atlanta to go to the bank, I, I think. I thought I was going to get a loan from you tomorrow before <laughs> I had to head back. Kittles, that one popped out on him. Boys point game. Boys right now run their stuff. They got to get those open looks and back cuts. Although the switch in the exchanges. Back a nice crossover dribble. McCaffrey kicks it out to second. He'll try three. And he got it. Has he been tough? Unhurried from D, but his activity creates some havoc as well. Frank Secker, 15 points. Oh, he runs wide. Just when Villanova starts to close that gap, something goes wrong on the offense, on the defensive end. And that in the person of Frank Secker, and on the offensive end, they turn it over. And it tells you a lot about Vandy, though. They've had a lot of responses as the Cats have approached them. We had the answer for Oklahoma, New Orleans, Clemson, and Kansas State to get here. That one gets astray. Sort of unforced for you tennis buffs out there. Kittles gets a square look at a three. Well, that's the spot, no matter how they get it there, you got to get into the teeth of that zone. Back to seven. 14 left. Max Mahan on top. They clear out for him. There's the high jumper. And give it to Lawson. Hop step and high jump, huh? Chris held off the front line beautifully. More like a triple jump, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Ball loose. 
Decker is going to pick up about an eight nine center. <laughs> Field goal shooting. Vanderbilt three of nine this half after being over 50 in the first, and Villanova's really warmed it up. That's what they're going to have to continue to do. And they need some defensive stops on the other end. Now there's the little Mitchell Dimer inside, but that's the approach they need because now Wilson, who's made some good offensive moves, has some decisions. They don't get it in there. They're not creating enough offense. Dan Hall with a little bit of a knee job to the back of Ron Wilson. You get that walk in the streets here. <laughs> Unsolicited. Looking to get it in. Evers all alone. Can't leave him out there, but the three rattles out. McCaffrey with the rebound. Andy got away with one there and leaving Eber as an mm -hmm. excellent shooter alone. Impressed how Secker gets the ball down. Oh, a nice wing steal. Williams, great play. Kittles has it. Foul. Woo. That's as good a defensive play as we've seen throughout the NIT. Well, the giveaway worked for Vandy, but almost a three. As Milbury gets down, you like that little denial on the wing, the distance of the pass, the problem. Great save into their front court. And right here, the giveaway, Kittles has some strength. Sure does. Milburn let him have it right in the collarbone, and he's still got a shot away. And Gary Kittles has all the free throw attempts tonight. And he's eating more than cat food. <laughs> Kittles, bits, and anything else mm -hmm. he can swallow. He is two out of five from the strike. And he has played pretty well within himself. So you mentioned he's not getting opportunities. He's not no, it's great. Trying to create some offense there with the extended D. Here it is at seven again. That's the hump that the Wildcats have not been able to climb over. Their fans are trying to help them, though. The guards are starting to rock a little bit. It's not because the elephants are on the other side of the building. <laughs> Walk his way. Milburn got a free ball underneath. Wilson blocked it. Boy, he has stepped up big time, hasn't he? Wilson has played extremely well. He wants it on offense, too. Ebers had a notion. Look at Wilson work with Milburn inside. It's Williams. He got it. Jim Van Bredekoff has seen enough. The Villanova fans just starting to see what they came for. 12.27 to play. Vandy's lead has been cut to five. It's been our observation that people don't necessarily like the idea of getting older. It's a gut be gone. Roy just loves his. In which case, we have a suggestion. Now make a wish. Wish, wish, wish. 175 horsepower fountain of youth. The 94 Isuzu Rodeo. Practically amazing. See your local Isuzu dealer to check out the Rodeo lease. Hundreds of miles to the north and 30 degrees south of zero lies Canada. Blasted by wind, buried by snow, and filled with ice. Molson Ice. Ice brewed by North America's oldest brewery to be a few degrees colder, a few degrees bolder, yet smooth as ice. Molson Ice, from the land where ice was born. You have a 30-year mortgage. So shouldn't you have a 30-year faucet? Moen, buy it for looks, buy it for life. Where's the picture? There's no picture. How can it be a Polaroid camera if there's no picture? The Polaroid Captiva. The pictures stay in till you take them out. Maybe if you shake it. Yeah, shake the camera. Well, Brad, it's been obvious that that little area in through here has been open for flashes or occasionally the dribble penetration. And I think Williams has done a nice job a couple times on bouncing. 
and finding spots to get the little open jumper. And right here, against the little zone, get a little bit confused. And That's even, what he did the other night. Even in that, I think they went from 2-3 to man-to-man. -to -man. That may have given them the opening that they wanted. Williams, the kid we talked about, the freshman who had the big night, 17 points and a career-high 13 rebounds against Siena. Tonight, he's trying to help his club back into the ball game, and so far in this half, Villanova with a 10-point edge in the scoring column. And they are within five with 12.27 to go. Brad Nestler, Bill Raftery with you. Madison Square Garden with 14,434 starting to get into it. Great crowd the other night. Raft almost 17. Another great crowd tonight. Great NIT for some people who work awfully hard. Jack Powers and his crowd. Secker outside. Got it. Well, that's a way to pour some cold water on a hot Whew. fire, huh? Heart onions. That Secker will put you out. <laughs> He has provided some impetus for this club. Four threes tonight, 18 points for Frank Secker. He's cut off by Secker defensively. That'll do 10 on the shot clock. A little matchup, it's been confusing. That's the second area again. There you go. Wilson on the hook shot. Chris Lawson is going to take the ball, a couple of Wildcats, and anybody else in his way for the rebound. And the possession arrow goes their way. He is a mountain of a man. We're going to be in the buffet line with him. <laughs> Start early, folks. <laughs> Set your alarm. 55-47. There he is offensively, and he's fouled. Haynes with the reach down, or Ebers take the choice. But they are, they are attacking him, aren't they? That's what they're going to have to do. Time starting to get short, 11-14. As Ebers picks up the foul, and Jason Lawson, of course, been on the bench with four fouls for much of the game. Nice give and go. McCaffrey Lawson lost the hand. Great job by Kittles with the spike. Pretty run. What hustle by Hall. And he wanted the ball out of bounds, too. Doesn't get it, but nice run by the fifth-year senior to cut off what would have been an easy basket. Wilson keeping it up high. Haynes sets for three. Got it. Well, he got it to five, huh? That hasn't happened in quite a while. Billy McCaffrey has to get moving. they got to find him. Matt Mahon, well, there they go, Gray. Look at the new titles. Blocks it. Ooh. Perry was thinking the same thing you were. He knows his number. He's got those arms and the size, and that's made it tough for Billy McCaffrey. Again, Kittles on McCaffrey, and Billy gets it in to Chris Lawson, who is going to get fouled by Wilson going up. Now that shows his strength. Ron Wilson picks up his second. Uh, he has stepped up magnificently, Ron Wilson, and that time gets tagged with the foul, but you can see Lawson's determination and aggressive nature. And Jason Lawson can only look at the floor, knowing that he is not going to help, at least for a while, as Chris Lawson hits the free throw, 13 for the big guy. And there's the firm of Lawson and Lawson. And, uh, it's hard to do anything about it when you're sitting over next to your coach. And here's the big fella, the man they call Bone. And he's got bone and muscle and a whole bunch of body, and he's got 14 <laughs> points. Red bone? Or <laughs> Red bone. We're under 10 and a half, and it's 57-50 Vanderbilt. Well, no billings for Jason Lawson and his firm today. I mean, he's had many minutes. Ebers. He's got the three working tonight. That's his third. Now it's down to four. Trading twos for threes. We'll do that. And he goes on. One team came in with 223 pointers on the year, the other with 230, and they're showing why tonight. Both teams have lit it up pretty well from outside the arc. They leave Milburn all alone. And they've stepped 
the zone out wide. You may run a guy into the corner and they got to walk. Oh. Relax. Brian Milburn in. And Van Bredekoff says, come on, guys, let's settle in. The Villanova fans are anything but settled. 57, 53. Wildcats with a chance to make it a two-point game. Uh, Alvin doing a little too much there on that shake move. Wilson, though, came up with a loose ball. Well, they, got, they had Evers for a minute. Or a second, I should say. Somebody's going to have to put it up. Haynes underneath. Kicks it out to Kittles. He'll have to pump a three. Got it! Oh, oh. Curry Berry! Deep! Try to quiet the crowd. Villanova with a rebound. The last time the Wildcats led, it was 10 to 7. Wilson. Milburn lost the ball out of bounds. Well, Wilson is certainly feeling it, huh? He really deserves it the way he started on the defensive end. Making threes and also motion a little bit. A little more activity. Guys touching the ball. It's helpful and over. Ronnie McMahon gets a breather. Ball loose. Still knocked away by Vanderbilt. Might have been last touch by Billy McCaffrey. There's a little congestion down on the baseline. Well, Brad Vandy's problem is offense right now. And when they come down here, they're going to have to make some adjustments. Overload against the zone. Make them pay for extending out high. This then tag the deep shooters. The youthful cats looking for the lead. And Kittles gives it to them. Get it to the three-second area. Down by 15 at the break. Villanova by one. Secker. Oh, baby, is he got it working out there? Huh? He sure is. That little drive dribble by McCaffrey set it up. Secker with five threes tonight and with 21 points tonight. I just give a double look. I knew he averaged around 80 games. He is on fire. Evers trying to answer. That one comes out. Chris Lawson up strong for the rebound. And he has a little chat with whoever was trying to battle with him underneath. Nice little counter punch by Vandy. McCaffrey, great look to share him on the baseline. Wilson. The outlet to Williams. Williams for the tie, rejected by Milburn. Great defensive pre presentation. We got one going here, huh? We got one going. 7.21 to go. Vanderbilt leading Villanova by two. Sportscaster's dream. The idea is to put sports in a cultural context. A chance to kind of break away from the mainstream. I mean, it's no longer just going to a game or watching a game. Something for the surfers, the skiers, the mountain bikers. It's now a huge industry, a huge effect on, on people's lives. People who are really interested in sports, but not the typical sports. Possibly huge revenues. For me personally, that's what I'm looking for. That's my mission. Sports Night. Hi, I'm Larry Loretti. Why is Pro Golf Discount America's favorite golf store? Big discounts on name brand equipment. I mean big discounts. Because I'm a professional golfer on a senior tour, people ask me where they can buy the best golf equipment for the best prices. That's easy. Pro Golf Discount. And remember, only Pro Golf guarantees the best price on the same equipment or it's free. That's why Pro Golf Discount is America's favorite golf store. Pro Golf Discount, 3737 West 12th Street. Last half of the ninth inning. Oh, Second right in there, and it is two and two. But here's the first He's starting his wind up out there again. The He's runners lead. Here's the pitch. Swing it along, one in the left field. Deep, 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 deep. Oh, Raph 
no one can forget that 85 NCAA championship second half for Villanova. Tonight, not quite that warm, but hey, it certainly has helped the cause. They have taken the lead at one point. Now they trail by two. Harold Jensen is in the business world, making a ton of money. Well, he was on fire that night in Lexington. KY and Terry Kittles in NY City. Kittles with a big second half has upped it to 13 points. 60-58 with 7.21 left. Once again, the 2-3, and they've been effective right there. Evers were tied up for only the second time tonight. It was tied at 10, now it's tied at 60. Lolo has to make sure. Secker. Oh, oh man. Is he great? And Milburn with a little bump to free him. They matched up on McMahon and McCaffrey. New career high for Frank Secker. Nice timing, huh? 24. <laughs> he likes the bright lights. He's a Broadway performer. <laughs> They're going to want to see this show a few more times in Nashville. How about Oshkosh? He's from Oshkosh, but gosh, and they've got to be cheering up Wisconsin tonight. What a show he's put on. He's got six threes, a new career high, and his team's in front by three. Nice pick by Evers. Haynes will play off it. Ooh, and Lawson unable to really pop out. I thought he should have attacked the shooter in that lane. 63-62, Vanderbilt. Straight up, man, and he switched the exchanges if it's the same size. Very small lineup right now. They should go to they do. Lawson runs out of real estate and calls a timeout. Second one, Vandy has had to take. Wants to stop a Villanova run and wants to stop a turnover. They're still, though, up by one. Polaroid asked me, Sinbad needs supermodels to demonstrate the sleek, stylish Captiva camera. It holds the pictures inside the camera's special pocket till you take them out and put them in a, your pocket. <laughs> My pocket. <laughs> the Polaroid Captiva. Introducing the Quantum Random Orbit Sander. It works four times faster than a finishing sander with swirl-free results. So now you can tackle any project from start to finish. The new Quantum Line from Black & Decker. <laughs> It's been our observation that people don't necessarily like the idea of getting older. It's a gut be gone. Roy just loves his. In which case, we have a suggestion. Ta-da! Now make a wish. Wish, wish. A 175 horsepower fountain of youth. The 94 Isuzu Rodeo. Practically amazing. Staples, we guarantee no one anywhere can beat our prices on office supplies or equipment. Staples, 30 to 70 percent savings on the office supplies you need every day. Staples, where delivery is free on any telephone order over $50. Staples, call for a free catalog or visit the office superstore. Why go anywhere else? With Bill Raftery, I'm Brad Nessler. Vanderbilt leads Villanova 63-62 here in the second half for the championship game of the NIT at the Garden. Vandy down to one timeout now after taking one there. But the guy that has led them tonight, not Billy McCaffrey, not Ronnie McMahon, although both have played well. It's been the sophomore, Frank Secker, who has been the guy to control things for Vanderbilt. A new career high. He's 6 of 7 from outside the three-point line. He was 7 of 8 against South Carolina in his previous best scoring night, so he's putting on that kind of show this evening. Here he is again. Oh, oh, oh. Give it to him again. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't, I'm sure he's not. He looks like the kind of guy. He's got so much confidence. Just give it to me. You get me to the final. I'll take over. Unbelievable shooting night for Frank Secker. And as you said the other night, you give the little sucker room, and he's going to give you trouble. <laughs> nice move on the baseline by Williams. McMahon with a block shot, but kept alive and scored. Here's the 
Harry Kittle's not giving up. He's got 15. Two of them are starting to go after one another now. A little excitement in the championship. Lost it one-hander. And Big Chris with 16. And Wilson paid for beating the area, too. Nothing like you and I doing our last game of the year together. We get this one, huh? That's fun, isn't it? It's a blast. It sure is. Tony Joe. We're under five minutes. Haynes for three. And it's going to yes. count. Clinging by one. At halftime, the level looked dead, huh? Yep. Bottle of that halftime talk. They were down 41 to 26 at the break. Well, in trouble, give it to Frank, huh? And a little reach in the variety store. <laughs> Williams picks up his second. And Steve Lapis looking on as if it were a nickel timer as well. And here comes Jason Lawson back into the game. With all the foul trouble he's had throughout, he hasn't played many minutes. Back in there now to give Ron Wilson a breather. And Wilson has been brilliant picking up the slack inside. A terrific force and contribution all evening. And Jason has to play within the system now. Don't rush things. Be a factor defensively in particular. Ronnie McMahon is three for three tonight. He's an 85% free throw shooter. Oh. What was that in the lane? Haynes claiming he was pushed into the paint. Now, we were near Lincoln Center earlier today, huh? What was that? Look at this. I'm trying to bring somebody with him. Gets the spare one because of the lane violation. So that takes away what was a miss. That makes it a 69-67 Bandy lead. And now Riley can put his team up by three. And does. 20-point night again for McMahon. Has he come to play? Oh, he play? has stepped up magnificently. And not many shots either. Kittles gonna take the three. Yes! Kerry Kittles had two points at halftime. Now he's got 18. A long distance, not to New Orleans, but deep. Just under four to go, we are tied at 70. And Kittles has to help, finally recognize, but leaves McCaffrey alone. Billy McCaffrey trying to dish, and he gave it away. Three and a half minutes to play in the NIT championship for 94, and Villanova and Vanderbilt even at 70. Haynes for the Wildcat lead. And Milburn was right there. seeing some individual and team performances tonight. Villanova by three. Secker looking for a spot to light it up, I think. A lot of perimeter. They're not getting their bumps. Back on the hand. Too strong and a little off balance. Adam and Williams will slow it down. They've gone in a circular fashion. They were slashing earlier, particularly in the first half. Now let's see how the Wildcats play with a lead. This is their biggest lead of this half. I think you've got to continue to attack, though. Don't start pulling the air out. In the first half, they trailed by 17 points. Did Villanova. Now they're up by three. Kittle's off balance. Not a good one. Ebers kept it alive, though. A big rebound for both clubs. Chance to run a little more clock, and they call the timeout. Two minutes, five seconds left in regulation from the Garden. The NIT title very much in doubt now. Villanova leads Vanderbilt by three. The only way we do it.
right here. With the right Goodyear tire. No matter what you drive. Goodyear trained, ASC certified. You want it right? You bring it here. Right now. Tires, tune-ups, brakes, you name it. Get the right job at the right price when you go with Goodyear certified auto service. So get it right. Right way, right here, right now. With Goodyear certified auto service. Yeah, golf. Good ball. Golf. golf. Now, football. Let's watch both. Miller Lite presents Full Contact Golf. Yeah! We're still on the first hole, Bob, and this is Davis teeing it up. Here's the drive. <laughs> Brought to you by Miller Lite. If you can combine great days and less filling, you can combine anything. Oh, he's got daylight going for the green. Here's the putt. There's the putt. <laughs> oh, oh, good beer. Great taste, less filling. Can your beer do this? Two minutes, five seconds left in the ball game. 73-70. Villanova leads Vanderbilt now. Villanova reached the championship game of the NIT one other time back in 1965. Vanderbilt won the NIT title last in 1990. Dan Van Bredekoff in his first season down to a single timeout if he needs it. And his star senior down to his last couple of minutes. down to our last couple of minutes. Stops and rebound now for your bandy. The solid D is it gets to 18 seconds. And if they miss the shot, the rebound is of the mm -hmm. utmost importance. There's the miss, there's the rebound. This might not be a bad guy to have shoot it on the other end. They don't have to hurry it. Oh, they got to run there. Now, there's a down screen. They've been dribbling around looking for a bump on the outside. Lawson teeing it up on Chris Lawson. Ronnie McMahon in low. Chris Lawson wheels on Jason. Hook shot won't go. Dan Hall trying to get the rebound. Does. And Chris Lawson again keeps it alive. Oh, he had a little dump off to Chris Lawson, too. He didn't spot him. Hesitated just enough that that took that play away. Ronnie McMahon has a look up. Minute on the game clock. 20 on the shot clock. Still throw away. Alvin Williams. Billy McCaffrey ran him down. An intentional call on McCaffrey, I believe. The officials will confirm. Maybe it won't be. Steve Lapis says it should be Tim Higgins. Is he going to say yes? It is. Well, you can read that right from our announced position, couldn't you? The angle, ball had the jumper, did not take advantage, and that's a tough one. All there, set up right. Dan thought he saw, but he didn't see Williams. Too much air, huh? And here's the freshman Williams at the free throw line. Biggest chances from the stripe of his young Villanova career. His team up by four, matches their largest lead. Uh, have they found a player in this young guy? They sure have. And, uh, I like them early, but not as much as I uh, like them now. I'm going to like them a lot in the years to come, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's what tournaments are good for, too. They find their place. Teams get deeper. Everybody's got to deny. If they give you the good double, take it. There they go. They don't step up on the... Almost by Secker. Secker almost had a steal. Williams lost the ball. New life for Vandy. They're down four. Secker pulls up, had a block. Only needs to, it's a two possession game. He's at six. A nice give up. And Lawson foul. He'll go to the free throw line. Ronnie McMahon with a nice slice, dishes off. How about his poise, though? He knew he only needed a basket. And Jason Lawson now is gone. That foul was on him. Never got himself on track, did he? Uh, Steve Lapis now trying to figure out during the 30 seconds who to insert. Jason Lawson had two fouls relatively early, sat out a big chunk of the first half, then came in 
with only two fouls to start the second half, but I think it was a minute and about 40 seconds, picked up two quick ones. One was way outside, one was trying to get position on a rebound, and so he had to sit much of the second half. He leaves with six points and 33 seconds left. But the guy that comes in, I think it's a guy that was a spark to get him going, Ron he Wilson. Was, he was uh, not a bad guy to turn to. He had not performed up to his great evening. They would not be ahead, ahead of this club. Chris Lawson, two for two tonight. 70 on the season. Missed the first one. Kept alive. Secker for three. Lawson trying to tip it in. And a foul. because of the fact that the other guys are better free throw shooters around the floor. That was almost a score without a second oh. going off. So we walk it down. Mandy only with the one timeout. He was the one the first half early when they made the run, then the second one when Lawson got stuck with the basketball. The clock does stop, which enables them to get the defense set if they could counter with a score. They'll have only four out of eight from the free throw line tonight. Wilson's first trip there. His night rips it. Right now, Vandy can only look on. They're down five. They know it's a two-possession game regardless of how this free throw goes. And it goes in. What a night Ron Wilson's had. 76-70. A bad day. They're going to do it, so they're going to settle quickly. I thought they're going to let the big guy catch it now, kick it out. Secker's going to try another one. And oh. got it! Great use of the clock and floor and Chris Lawson and the quick feet of Frank Secker. Eight threes tonight for Frank Secker. That's a personal best for him from outside the three-point line. And also, he has 30 points, by far his career high. And Brad, you notice how Lawson got it out, looking for himself, sort of dragged the defense, and they concentrate on him. And Frank Secker, he hasn't done much wrong at all. Got the free, and then the lean maybe to get the foul and still able to convert. Great evening by that little guy. Frank Secker, Mr. Basketball in the state of Wisconsin as a senior in Oshkosh. Class salutatorian as well, and smart enough to know that his hand is hot tonight, and they're going to need one more from him, or McCaffrey, or McMahon, but they also need a stop with the final 15 seconds. Well, we've got some great college basketball going on, and we've got some great baseball coming up on Sunday night. For the first time ever, the season begins exclusively on ESPN at 8 o'clock Eastern. Join John Miller and Joe Morgan on Sunday opening night. The Cardinals and the Reds Sunday night baseball on ESPN. Brad, don't forget the press now. They almost threw it to the basket. The love of the line four across. Almost threw it right to a Vandy guy. They might leave the inbounder alone, get a free safety, everybody else deny and entice the deep shot. Billy McCaffrey's been bottled up tonight by the Wildcat defense, but Frank Sefter has certainly answered the call and picked up the slack. Evers on the inbounds. McMahon got him immediately. And Evers will go to the free throw line, a 75% free throw shooter. You may have noticed McCaffrey back by half court in case they went long. You don't have many choices as to who to foul. And obviously Evers in the 70s, a pretty good jump shooter, but... Uh, Everything's different at the end of the game. You must rebound. Villanova takes everybody off the free throw line. Now, the difficulty here is to push up the floor. I mean, if he misses the first one, they've got numbers coming down. They can get it up there faster. Obviously, you don't want a guy who's reaching over. That's why people take him off the line. You make it, it doesn't matter. And 
That was a gigantic free throw. This one could be the killer for Vanderbilt. Evers got them both. Vandy needs to hustle. They need a three, and they don't have a timeout left. Back McMahon, that three won't go. And Villanova's going to win it. Williams on a run. That's the capital. Pick to finish 10th in the Big East. A 20-win season. And an NIT crown. The last time in the NIT final was 1965. They lost to St. John's by four. Tonight, the Wildcats trailed by 17 points in the first half. 15 at the break. They come back and they win it over Vanderbilt by seven. Tough to look on for Jan Van Bredikoff in his first season when it looked like he was going to be able to wrap up an NIT crown, but the wrapping now goes the Wildcats favor. Who so says it's not big, huh? Ass. That's right. <laughs> NIT champs for Villanova. You could have picked a number of guys who did it in the second half to make this game what it became for the Wildcats, the guy that we're going to pick. As our Polaroid Captiva player of the game, 6'5 junior point man, Jonathan Haynes. He had three threes in the second half. He had 19 points. And he helped the Wildcats come from nowhere to win this game 80 to 73. Villanova started this season, as we said, picked to finish down in the basement. Their motto was starting from scratch. And against the third, strongest schedule in the country they put together a 20 and 12 season and they beat Vanderbilt 80 to 73 for the NIT crown our congratulations to Steve Lapis and his Wildcats of Villanova and to the rest of the fine field in this year's NIT but Nova wins it 80 73 for Bill Raftery and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Brad Nestler. Thanks for watching and saying so long from Madison Square Garden. And our congratulations to 1994 NIT champs, the Wildcats of Villanova. ESPN's exclusive coverage of college basketball has been brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste, less filling. Can your beer do this? By Isuzu, makers of incredible...